What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert. And in today's video, I wanted to have a really quick look at the new integration we have with Revoice Pro version 3.3 and Studio One 3.3.4 and above. So in 3.2, we got the ability to copy and paste audio events directly from Studio One into the Revoice Pro timeline over here. Now what they've done in version 3.3 is they've actually included some new options. So if we hop over to Revoice Pro here for a second, we can see in the edit menu that we have the ability to paste a quick APT, quick doubler, quick warp, and then a regular paste. And then we can also copy these, uh, either the selected process output or all the process outputs. Now we'll get to that in a minute. But what I wanted to do is have a look at how this works. So I've downloaded a copy of the session that's included on the Synchro Arts website. And what I wanted to do is show the new quick APT and quick doubler. So this really couldn't be more simple. All we have to do here is select the audio events that we want to transfer over. Now, one quick side note on this is that they need to be in a specific order. So for example, you need your guide track to be on the top in terms of the order in Studio One. So these three tracks over here, from here to here, we'll have a quick listen to these. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. So these are the three tracks that I want to take over. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. I can do a Command C over here. Now in Revoice Pro, all we need to do is go to the Edit menu, and I want to paste a quick APT. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see that it's added all of the tracks for us here. Now, in addition to that, it's also done some grouping, which is really nice. So it's brought in the guide track and it's named it. And then it's brought in both the doubles. So that'd be Leadvox 2 and Leadvox 3. But then what it's gone ahead and done is it's already created the two output tracks for me. And it's also gone ahead and done any time compression and expansion that I need. And we've also got groups here. So the guide is on its own group. The dubs, which are the original tracks, are on this group. And it's also set up a group for the output. So what I can very quickly do now is addition these. Let's go ahead and let's just bring the panning out on these over here. And I can play. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. Versus. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So the last thing I want to do here is I can do my pitch correction in Revoice Pro as well. So we have this one note over here that's off and I can just go ahead and quickly set this as a warp region. And then I can just go in and fix that pitch issue, which I believe is this note over here. My heart is an ocean. So let's bring this up. So now I've gone ahead and fixed this. Now we can go ahead and have a really quick play. My heart is an ocean, nothing can say. Okay, so the idea here is that once you're done, you don't have to even drag and drop things back into Studio One. You could if you wanted to, but the idea here is that all we need to do is go to the edit menu in Revoice Pro and we want to copy the selected process outputs or copy all process outputs. In my case, since I did some pitch correction on the lead vocal here, I'm going to copy all process outputs. And then back in the Studio One screen, all we have to do is edit and paste that original position. So now we have these tracks have been replaced. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. Okay, now for the doubler process, that's just as simple. So I can select the harmony track that I wanted to create a double from. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and Command C, back over to the Revoice Pro menu, and I'm going to go ahead and I want to create a quick or paste quick doubler. Now one thing to note here is these quick APT and quick doubler, they will replace your work as you're going. So you need to go ahead and bring the audio back in. So we'll go ahead and paste a quick doubler. You can see that it updates this project over here. Now we can have a listen to this. My heart is an ocean. But one thing I want to do is I want this to be stereo. So I can just call up this panel over here and change this to a stereo track over here. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can say. 
And then on this side over here, I'm going to go copy selected process output. And then back in Studio One, we're going to go ahead and paste this. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that Revoice Pro is remembering the track that you selected in Studio One. So we have to paste this over top, but then we can move it later. So I'm going to go ahead and go to edit and paste at original position. Now I'm just going to create a new stereo track, which I can drag this down. And then of course we still have our mono track underneath. So we can bring this down now. Let's go full screen in studio one and we can listen to the top. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at And bring in our music. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it, nothing at all So twisted and broken, lost in the storm So that's the new integration we have with Studio One. We've got the quick APT, we've got the quick doubler, and we also have a quick warp. And what that would basically do is it would send over the audio event from Studio One. It would send that over as a warp audio region. So I could go Command C, back into Revoice Pro, edit, and I would want to paste a quick warp. So that's it. Just wanted to show you guys these new features in 3.3. It's made it incredibly fast to be able to create APTs and doublers from Studio One and Revoice Pro. And we can get the audio back into Studio One very easily. And we can deal with multiple tracks at once now. So two thumbs up for me. Great job from the folks at Synchro Arts on this. I hope you guys got something from this video and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.